Hey guys, so here's just a few things that you need to consider when you're renovating or even remodeling um, a, uh, a bathroom or a bathroom, kitchen, you know, that sort of space. But let's focus on bathroom for now because that's chock full of questions. So, okay, you have your bathroom. Think, just p picture it with me. You sta you're standing in the doorway. Uh, let's call this the doorway. Well, you can't even see that. Let's call the space between these two seats a doorway here. You're looking into the bathroom. You have your shower, your vanity, um, you have your, uh, your toilet bowl. Um, all right, so just with those three things, follow me. If you decide to renovate the whole thing, okay, so your choices are fine. You think you have three things to work with, but you don't. Your vanity, do you want to go with something that's bolted? Well, not necessarily bolted, but do you want to go with something that's sitting on the floor, something that's floating? Do you want just the bowl, um, the, the sink? That's one. That's one thing but three options right there. The toilet bowl. Do you want something that's two units, as in the tank and then the bowl itself? Do you want something that's one full unit? Do you want a bidet? Do you want something um, that's more elaborate? It has all the switches and dials on the side. That's, I don't know, four things right there. Now, let's think about where you're going to take your shower. Okay, so right now, let's say you have a tub. Do you want to keep the tub? Do you want to take the tub out? Do you want to um, make it a standing shower if you take out the tub? Do you want a threshold on it for the floors, which we didn't, which I didn't talk about? For the floors, do you want something that's curbless? By that I mean, do you want your bathroom floor to lead straight into your shower? If you do, then you have something else to think about. Do you want your standard shower door? Do you want just a pane of glass? shelf all that all right so let's go into the let's go into the the shower itself what kind of tiles do you want on the walls do you want a shower niche or a shower nook um where you're going to store your soap and all that you know that little thing that hotels have uh, some hotels have either they have a little shelf or they have a little dugout where you put all your soap and stuff that's what a shower nook is um for your shower, for your uh, for your shower head, do you want something that's coming off the wall, like in front of you, like that? Do you want something that's directly overhead, so it gives you like a rain, like a rainfall type uh, type effect? Um, do you want something with a wand that you can, you know, spray around? You know, you where where you have more control over the where the water goes, not just in your face or um, straight on top of your head. You actually have a wand that you can shower the shower the uh, stall walls with. Um, let's see. I don't know how many options I just gave you, but these are just a few things that go into, you know, renovating a shower or a bathroom like that. Mind you, I haven't even talked about materials yet. When it comes to materials, do you want to do... Or let's talk about the, the shower floor. On the shower floor itself, do you want a basin or do you want something that's um, not necessarily prefab, but you, do you want tiles on the floor, like a mosaic tile pattern style like that on the floor? That's also stuff to think about. So just these three, maybe four components of the bathroom itself, you realize that you have at the very least 10, maybe 15 different options and combinations that you can work with. Now, this is why it's a good idea to work with a designer or someone that knows the ropes where they can say, okay, um, for a designer, they're going to help you with the colors, things that match up better. For the construction person, um, it's a good idea to let them in on what you're thinking and have them, you know, bring them along with your, bring them along um, in your, not necessarily travels, but you're going to figure out what, what sort of tall you want and all that. They're going to be the best p person or people to engage with to determine, say, for this particular shower floor that I want, the best thing to do is to have this sort of basin for the sink or even the shower fixtures. Would it work better with a shower door or, you know, just open, open it up, go with the curtain. Um, so we're in a little bit of that phase right now because uh, we need to figure out what kind of counter, not necessarily countertop, but like a vanity top that we want versus um, the kind of tile that we want. 
and do they even match up? Are they going to be similar products, uh, similar materials? Like t the tiles are going to be ceramic or porcelain, that sort of thing. So as you go along, you know, looking around your space and trying to figure out what's going to be your next approach to, you know, renovating or re revamping that space. These are all things that you need to think about. Just keep that in mind. Um, and the best thing to do is to have... I thought I had my notebook here, but the best thing to do is to have a sort of notebook where you just pour out these ideas. If you're not a person that writes a lot, make a video like this. Just uh, make, make the video. You can put it somewhere that's memorable. You can have it on your YouTube page, you know, share with the world, or you can even do voice notes, take pictures as you walk around, you know, the department, uh, not department stores, they're box stores. Um, one thing about box stores, they have a lot of material. They have a lot of stuff but it's all over the place from the front door all the way to the back door and even beyond. If you want, you can go to um, a specialty store, places that carry only like bathtubs, only tile material, only things that would fit in a kitchen, only things that would be, uh, that you'd find in a bathroom, that sort of thing. For those guys, they have, um, they have more of a specialty and they have more of a touch when it comes to those specific things. They're going to be able to give you more advice and they're going to be very um, pointed in their opinions. Maybe in their opinions that they give, but it's going, to be, it's going to be worth it. Just remember, take all that with a grain of salt. Remember to keep your budget in mind. Well, at this point, I'd say don't let the leaves in, but at this point, I'd say just... Remember to keep your budget in the back of your mind, but if you go in looking for these things with your budget like right in front of you, you're gonna miss out on a whole bunch of things. As you pick and choose these things, talk with the store manager, talk with the sales associate or representative or whomever that's working with you. Nine times out of 10, they can hook you up with a really great deal and you, you would not have found that, uh, you wouldn't have found out um, otherwise if you didn't talk with them. So my advice to you is carry a notebook, make a lot of notes, make a video if you have to, take pictures, um, talk, well, talk with a whole bunch of people, um, not just those in one, you know, industry, but go across the board because someone that's into interior decor might have a different take on design or designing a certain space than someone that's you know, into construction than someone that's into, um, my, e e even something as strange as, you know, decorate, decorations, um, decorations as in the person might be a baker or they might even have something to do that's totally outside of the bathroom or, you know, shower type arena. And you'll be surprised the kinds of insights that they give you. So keep all that stuff in mind as you, as you keep, um, you know, searching and, picking out materials and stuff like that for your bathroom. If you find it if you, if you find that you're in a bit of a jam, leave a comment. I'd be glad to help out. I'd be glad to let my interior decorator help out. Um, I'd be glad to put you in touch with a whole bunch of folks that should be able to help you out, you know, get you out of that bind or that episode of writer's block per se. So um, I'm available. And hi, if you don't know me, my name is Cliff. I'm with Omen Nap. We're an interior um, interior construction um, company. We deal mostly with uh, kitchens and bathrooms and um, pretty much anything else that you need. But for anything else that you need, reach out to me. I'd put you out. I'd rather put you in touch with someone that knows how to do the work versus someone that's just gonna, you know, waste your time. And um, if it's something that I can't handle, I'd be glad to give you a referral. So Look forward to chatting with you and um, keep it real. All right, let's go.